Now at 5 o'clock, mask mandates dropped on planes, trains, and on lift rides. And also breaking tonight, the MBTA just announced that it will drop the mask mandate effective today. We had this breaking information at noon from WBZ sources. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Two years into the pandemic, the MBTA says you can finally take off your mask. WBZ's Christina Hager is live at the Park Street T-Stop tonight. Christina, how are riders reacting to this? Well, some say they're ready, others say not so fast. The T's general manager did put out a statement this afternoon saying if some people feel more comfortable wearing masks, by all means, they should continue to. After years of strict mask rules on the MBTA, no more requirement. This is freedom. I don't feel nervous about the mandate coming back down. Well, 80% of the people in Massachusetts are fully vaccinated, and among those over the age of 65, it's more like 95% of the people are fully vaccinated. Um, we now have therapies we didn't have two years ago that actually work. Governor Charlie Baker reacting to the federal ruling from Florida Monday voiding the CDC's mandate that would have required masks on mass transportation for two more weeks. Baker says the pandemic toolbox has improved. None of that existed when this pandemic began. Those are big changes in terms of how we should be thinking about the way we deal with it going forward. On the Orange Line at Back Bay Station, crowded with marathon tourists and vacation week travelers, the signs still order people to cover their faces. I think the T is the last place that I want to take my mask off on. In my opinion, people will still use it. Others say the decision is arriving right on time. Are you comfortable getting on a crowded train without a mask? At this point, yeah. After all this time and all the different protective measures and vaccines and all that. Amtrak also sent us a statement saying masks are no longer required on its trains. Uber and Lyft also did away with their mask requirements. And Logan Airport went ahead with the move right away last night. We'll have more on that in another report at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live in Boston. Christina Hager, WBZ News.